For thousands of years, Fulani boys like 16-year-old Yoro Sise have made a dangerous journey. They leave their girlfriends and families behind in Dafarabi, Mali and walk across the edge of the Sahara Desert. They make this dangerous journey for one reason, to feed their cattle. At the end of the dry season, the boys must take their cattle out of the inner Niger Delta and into the Sahel. Soon it will be too wet in the delta and the herdsmen must travel to find better grazing areas. The Sahel is an arid region with very few plants and trees. It follows the edge of the Sahara Desert. Cattle like a temperate climate. The success of the Fulani people is a direct result of their ability to raise cattle in this arid environment. These young cattle herdsmen live away from home for up to eight months a year. While they're away, they live mainly on milk from their dairy cows. We constantly have to find new grazing. That's what's always in your mind. In the bush, we have to be completely focused. Our mission is to bring back fat cattle. Bringing home a healthy herd is a traditional rite of passage for Fulani boys. If a Fulani boy returns with healthy cattle, then he is considered to be a man. When Yoro returns, the other Fulani people will look carefully at the cattle. Then they'll decide if he's capable of managing a herd properly. Yoro's girlfriend, Aisa, hopes that he's done well. She has a good reason for doing so. She's now old enough to get married. Fulani parents choose who their daughters and sons marry. If Yoro doesn't bring his herd home in excellent condition, Aisa's parents probably won't choose him to be her husband. During the journey, Yoro has to make sure that his cattle get enough food. But that's not his only worry. There are rebels, cattle rustlers and dangerous mosquitoes that can cause serious diseases. Yoro starts his journey in Dafarabi, Mali and walks into Mauritania. He follows routes that may have existed for thousands of years. They've been here since a time when people and cattle were first forced into the Sahel. As the Sahara region dried out, the people that lived there had to leave and find a more temperate climate. After three months in the bush, it's finally time for Yoro to turn and go home. We walk from sunrise to sunset without stopping. Sometimes we get very thirsty and the cows get tired. Often, we don't sleep at night. Nighttime is when the hyenas come out. They might try to kill the young cows or calves. Yoro and the other herdsmen often watch their cattle all night. They can't risk losing an animal now. The last part of Yoro's journey is very difficult and it becomes almost like a forced march. Fortunately, Yoro's herd is doing well. There are many healthy calves and they need to be branded. Putting his brand on the calves is a proud moment for Yoro. The calves immediately make his family richer and show Yoro's courage and skill during the last eight months. Yoro is almost home now and he's excited to see his girlfriend. There's just one more challenge on his long journey, the river. Yoro's cattle are his future. He chooses to cross the river with them to ensure their safety. After a long journey, Yoro is bringing home a healthy herd. Both he and Aisa can be proud of his success. It's a time of celebration in Dafarabi. Later, Yoro spends some time with Aisa. He tells her of his intention to marry her. Aisa is pleased, but it's Aisa's parents, not Aisa and Yoro, who will decide if they can marry. Yoro has done everything he can. His future and Aisa's are linked to the river and the land of the Sahel. They're also linked to the dangerous journey that young Fulani boys have made for thousands of years. <laughs>